the name of Jesus. This video message, the name of Jesus, is a brief continuation or addition or part two to the previous message called the name of God. In that video, recall it was demonstrated that the attributes and titles belonging to yod heh -Vave, God in the Old Testament, these same titles belong to Jesus, the Messiah, in the New Testament. Further, it was shown that in the New Testament, the name of Jesus is exalted to the highest level, being the name above all names. There is no other name by which we can be saved. This is according to Acts 4.12. No other name. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. The Messiah is what the Bible is all about. Throughout the entire Bible, everything points to the Messiah. And the Messiah is Jesus, Yeshua of Nazareth. So we need to understand this and truly accept it, and truly believe in Jesus as the Messiah, our Savior. Now when we say that we believe in Jesus, this means we also must obey Him, because faith without works is dead, and we cannot simply say that we believe in Him. We need to follow Him and obey His commandments, walking in newness of life. This walk is not burdensome. In 1 John 5, 3, New Living Translation, Loving God means keeping His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. Also in the book of Revelation, repeated twice for emphasis, the saints, or the elect, or the chosen people of God are those who keep the commandments of God and have faith in Jesus. This is the simple gospel message. We must have a true faith in Jesus and keep his commandments. On the next video, the new covenant, it will be shown that the commandments are now written on our hearts, not on stone tablets. So they are part of us, part of our inner being. We cannot be separated from God's commandments. They are inside of us, dwelling in our hearts. The name of Jesus is so very important. It is the name above all names. In Hebrew, his name is Yeshua, which is a short form of the formal name Yehoshua. This is the same name as the prophet Joshua, Yehoshua. The name Yeshua means yod heh vav -Eh as our Savior. So we see that the name of Jesus contains within it the Tetragrammatron, the four-letter sacred name of God, yod heh vav -Eh, which means I was, I am, I will be, or who was, who is, who is to come. This links Jesus to yod heh vav -Eh as one and the same. yod heh vav -Eh is our one and only Savior, and Jesus is our one and only Savior. Therefore, Jesus and yod heh vav -Eh are one and the same. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Isaiah 9.6 also tells us that Jesus is our Father. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. And he, Jesus, will be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus himself said, No man can come to the Father except by me. Jesus is telling us that he is our Savior. Do not look to someone else for salvation, because there is no one else. Jesus said, Philip, I have been with you all this time, and still you don't know me. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Why do you ask, show us the Father? The Son of God is the Almighty God and the Everlasting Father of us all. Jesus is our Father in heaven. The name of God is Jesus. This has been a quick gospel message. If you wish to receive the free gift of eternal life, start by first believing in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Your true faith in Jesus is all that you need to inherit the promise of eternal life. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. As a faithful believer, we must now walk in the footsteps of Jesus by obeying his commands. True faith will be demonstrated by walking in newness of life, following Jesus. In the book of Revelation, two very important passages that describe the saints. The saints are those who keep the commandments of God and have faith in Jesus. For further information and assistance, please contact us. We would love to hear from you. We pray in the name of Jesus that you are blessed by hearing these messages. Amen. These words have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, so that through faith in Him you may have eternal life.